My name is Dave Park, CEO and co-founder of Neurata AI. I also have uh, my A-team here, uh, who, whom I'll introduce here in a second, including my co-founder, Amir, there in the back, recording me. Um, but we're here because we are in the business of making generative AI go beyond just content creation to actually executing tasks using AI agents and parallel function calling. Our technology and product is based on new research out of the UC Berkeley AI Labs called the LLM compiler. Imagine being able to just talk and chat and the LLM compiler will know how to plan, coordinate, and execute your everyday tools. Email, Slack, CRM, Zoom, and even know how to browse the web to access services through your web browser. That's our goal and vision with our technology. And we recently just came out of stealth mode uh, and started putting our technology into the hands of outside users. And you guys are actually the first people to actually see a live demo outside of our environment. So I'm hoping it goes well. But let me just show you some basic things of how Narada, using our LLM compiler, actually gets stuff done for you. So it's a side pane. It's a Chrome extension. It's been reviewed by Google and all of our uh, partners. It takes seconds to download. But once you download it, it's a side pane in your browser, and you can just talk to it, and it understands what you're looking at, the context, and most importantly, it actually gets my crap work done. Excuse my French. Can you guys still hear me? All right, excellent. So let's say I got an email from Tom. And here he's asking if I'm free between 10 and noon this Thursday to go over some roadmap updates. Shouldn't take more than 30 minutes. All I need to do is, just like I'm actually talking to an executive EA, I can say, am I free at this time? Let's see what it does. It'll actually understand what I'm looking at, look at Tom's email, then it goes to all of my shared calendars for, for me, and sure enough, it comes back and tells me that I'm free. And at this point, I can say, send Tom a Zoom meeting invite for 11 a.m. And it'll actually understand that request in context of what I'm looking at this conversation so far. And check this out. It actually opens up a new tab, operates my calendar, <laughs> understands the context. He wants to go over roadmap updates, and even goes and talks to my Zoom account, creates a custom Zoom link to populate it, including all the right guests. But let's say at this point I changed my mind. I'm like, no, I love to eat, which, by the way, I love this event because there's food and drinks here. Thanks, Danny. And let's say I'd rather have lunch with Tom instead. And by the way, you can actually just dictate to it using the microphone uh, if you don't like typing. I can say reply to Tom and suggest we meet for lunch instead. Um, suggest some good, I don't know, uh, sushi places in SF and include the addresses. That's it. So again, just talk to it uh, free form, and let's see what it does. So something like this, I can just talk to it, you know, take seconds, but there's actually many parts that have to go into making this possible. First, it needs to go do some online research, right? It needs to find what are the good, good sushi places in SF. Then it has to go to my email. It operates my email and actually generates the whole response for me. And there's a lot more that goes behind the scenes here. It actually even went to my email history and says, who's Tom? How do I interact with him? Right? And he even understood the way I conversed with Tom over email in the past to write the email in a way that sounds like me. And check this out. I'm on the road more than half the time. I can even talk to Narada, even when I'm not in front of my laptop, through one of my favorite messaging apps. Right, this is when I really need help. Right, I can't, it's so hard to just use my phone, go into Slack, email, go into my calendar. 
So even from WhatsApp, and this is a web version just to show you um, in this demo, but I do this from my phone, I can just say, um, let Tom know I'm running 10 minutes behind. Uh, also copy Sonia and mention something about how the Giants are going to crush the Dodgers this season. And one of the things I love about it is spelling mistakes are just fine. So from here, and e even from here, I can just dictate to it instead of typing. Let's see what it does. So here, behind the scenes, even when I'm not logged in or in front of my laptop, it actually goes and operates all of my tools, looks at the data and history, pieces it all together, and generates the beautiful draft for me. And notice, it didn't actually send it because it gives me a chance to either ask it to modify it or at least gives me a chance to review it before it sends anything. But from here, all I need to do is confirm send and it actually sent it out on my behalf. So you get the sense. It knows how to operate my tools. It actually carries out commands in context of my data and my history. But here's where it gets even more interesting to me, is that in order for AI to be truly transformative, it needs to go beyond things that just take one or two steps, or maybe one tool. Most of the things that I hate doing, it involves multiple steps, multiple tools, different ecosystems, right? Google to Microsoft Teams to my CRM. And here is where Narada goes into supercharge mode. So here I've actually saved some common workflows that I hate to do, but it involves multiple steps, planning, coordination, and even automatically browsing the web for me. So for example, let's say I wanted to go through all of the meetings I had this past week, see who are all the new people I met with, and go find them on LinkedIn through my web browser to connect with. So let's see, I hope this works. Let's see what it does. And what it's gonna do is, there you go, it's actually browsing the web for me there. It's going, it's, it found all the contacts I met with this past week, found their LinkedIn, Right, and now if I go into this LinkedIn, oops, sorry, there you go. This is all done um, automatically. It actually found all the people I met with, found their LinkedIn, uh, allows me to connect. But I wanna do more, like I'm not satisfied at this point. I hate updating the CRM. Everybody's required to do it, or most people in some kind of sales capacity. I can even tell it now to go look at all the people I met with, find the new people, go do some research on LinkedIn and online to find out their titles, their backgrounds, and even update my CRM, monday.com, with all those new contacts. Like this is the kind of stuff where it's just people should do it, but they stop doing it because it's just too onerous, too laborious, <laughs> or boring. So all I need to do is just hit a button, and this time, It'll look through all of my meetings, find the contacts, go do research on them, find their titles, information, and check this out. It actually even goes into my CRM automatically, knows what buttons, pages, things to click on to take all of that information that it researched and upload all those new contacts automatically for me. And it even generates a CSV file for me to just review who it's found and what it's researched. So where is this all going? Our vision oops, is that in order for AI to change the world and in order for AI to be truly sticky and have staying power, it needs to do more than just give out answers or generate some content. I loved a lot of the um, you know, generative AI tools out there. My son uses it to write his essays that are due uh, within a couple of hours. But AI really needs to develop and grow up to a point where it's solving 
big, non-trivial tasks, things that create value, generate more revenue, scale your business, find more leads. And in order to do that, there's technology that needs to be developed. We need AI orchestration, and that's where the LLM compiler, our research that Amir and team have led uh, from the UC Berkeley days, we need AI that knows how to plan, not just things that require two or three steps. We're talking dozens of steps. Potentially, soon, things that require hundreds or more steps. We need multiple specialized LLMs and models and tools. If you try to make an LLM do more and more and more and just make it bigger and bigger and bigger, what will happen is that it will start to fail and hit its limits, hallucinate, start to get confused. We need to divide and conquer, right? So I was a computer scientist. That's the number one thing. If you want to tackle complex problems, you got to break it down, divide and conquer, and route the request to all of the specialized tools, LLMs, and models that are very good at doing one thing. Then come back and coordinate and synthesize all of those steps in parallel as much as possible so that it's done in real time versus having to wait an hour for it to actually go find some sushi restaurants and ultimately piece the results together so that the output is not some pretty picture or an essay for my son to turn in, but it's actually getting real work done for me. So with that said, we now want to learn from you. We have a framework that can virtually do almost anything. If, it, if we can't API access or directly function call into these tools, you know what we'll do? We'll basically access those services online through the web browser and operate things like your LinkedIn, CRM. Uh, Fernando, last week, used Narada to order a super duper burger on DoorDash. So he went to super, you know, DoorDash, figured out how to actually click the right buttons to order him a burger. Because this framework is so powerful, but so, so, so general. We'd love to hear from you about what are your painful tasks? What are the things that you just hate to do? What are the things that you hate to do so much that you actually just don't want to do it or, or want to forget to do it? And if you've got a problem like that and you want to try this out, and even if Narada can't do it today, if it's a painful enough problem, it's an interesting enough problem, and we hear that kind of problem from more people, we'll go actually have it automate for you within a day or less. We want to hear from you. Send me an email personally. And if you're interested, we'll give, give you free access. Um, again, it takes seconds to install. And I've got, real quick, um, one thing I've learned, this is not my first startup, but one thing I've learned over the years after building uh, multiple successful startups is that before technology, product, sales, customers, number one thing is your people. So I just want to re quickly call out Fernando from our BizDev team, Haley. We got Charlie and BJ over there uh, leading a lot of our outreach and sales efforts. And then Zeng, who is one of our first engineers. And then Amir, my co-founder, who actually led this research effort at UC Berkeley, uh, along with our third co-founder, who is currently an AI professor at Berkeley. So come talk to us. I think we've got some swag as well, but we'd love to hear from you. Figure out what your pain points are and actually put this into your hands so it can actually go to work for you. Thanks.